Hey, hello everybody. Welcome back to Stardew Valley. How are you today? We are back once again with our challenge whereby Mayor Lewis, AI Mayor Lewis, tells us what to do. We're trying to complete a set of goals within the first hundred days of our Stardew playthrough, but we have to listen to AI Mayor Lewis or suffer the consequences. We, we can choose to ignore him, but that comes with some pretty detrimental consequences. If you've been following the series so far, uh, you already know that those consequences basically involve skipping days. Basically entire days that we can't benefit from if we upset AI Mayor Lewis. So right now I'm just trying to pull up something in the background uh, that I've been referencing for this challenge. But I have a lot of documents here. Uh, I think it's this one? Yes. Okay. So, the goals we are trying to meet. One farmhouse upgrade. Not that hard. Get to the bottom of the mines. And we want to complete all of the vault bundles, which are just money, basically. The vault bundles are just... We just shovel money at them. That's the whole thing. So, those are the three goals that we're trying to achieve. We hope we get there. I guess we find out today. <laughs> I don't know how it's going to go at all. Um, but cool. Thanks for being here, everybody. So, yeah, we're on day 37. We have not yet talked to Mayor Lewis, but we are about to do that right now. And we're about to find out what we're supposed to be doing, like how we're supposed to be spending day 37. So let's go do that right now. Let's say, uh, hello, Mayor Lewis. It's day 37 here on the farm. And I wanted to know from you, the boss, what would you like us to do? How would you like us to spend day 37? So I'm hoping here he says like, I don't know, cave diving I would like to do. Honestly, I just, I just need to like figure ah, out. Day 37 already, is it? There never seems to be enough time in the day. Uh, now, I've been thinking about it, and I want you to do something a little unusual today. Oh, no. I want you to bring me 10 pieces of hardwood. There's something about their uh, natural, sustainable beauty that's been calling out to me lately. Plus, those more expensive materials will luckily correspond with a higher property tax, which definitely won't find its way into my pocket. Ahem. Wow. Um, okay. <laughs> that's not what I was hoping he was going to say. Uh, like I said, I wasn't sure exactly what I would like him to say, but he did switch it up, as promised. Um, okay, let me start getting some coal going, because I'm realizing that I haven't upgraded any of my tools, and now I'm seeing that I'm going to need to upgrade my axe at some point, so let's just work on that for a minute. Um, okay, the only way I know how to get hardwood without being able to chop down the stumps on the farm is to go cave diving and smash up barrels and like it can maybe come out of barrels sometimes but he said 10 pieces so I'm pretty certain we're not going to be able to get that today it almost might be better for us to like just go completely off book if we make a bunch of money maybe he won't give us house arrest Maybe? I don't know. He's kind of like setting us up to fail here. But welcome everybody. How's it going? Um, dang it. <laughs> I'm so disappointed in my uh, my demands today. What's even more disappointing is like my blueberries are almost done. And I'm not going to be able to like water them if he gives me house arrest. Okay, I'm very nervous about this. Right now, I'm just trying to accumulate five copper ingots so that I can go upgrade my axe. And I'm thinking what we do is we send the axe into the shop. And we tell him, like, oh my gosh, Mary Lewis, like, you had such a good idea with the hardwood that I was like, maybe I should upgrade my axe, man, you know? And so I put it in the shop, but then I couldn't go chop hardwood. Oh, no. Yeah, I don't know if that's going to work, but it's worth a try. Uh, unfortunately, like, also putting my axe in the shop is not 
great because we we uh, we need the money. This is why this challenge is like <laughs> so annoying because we have to have enough money to complete all the vault bundles. We, like there's so much. Oh my gosh, there's so much to do. We should also probably make it a point to grow all of the different crops for this season. Because I think we haven't even unlocked the vault yet in the community center. Is that true? Pantry, crafts from fish tank, boiler room. Yeah, like if we... Ooh, gosh, okay. A gold ingot would actually be great. Okay. Hmm. Because I think we just need to complete one more bundle and then we'll have unlocked the vault room perhaps. All right, let's upgrade the ax. So now we cannot chop trees. That is not a thing we can do. I think we go cave diving. We have a sword on us, we have a pickaxe. Oh, wait a minute. The crab pot bundle, I forgot. Oh, I put my bait away, I guess. Uh, This could definitely go. Yes, okay, that's a bundle. Maybe we don't have to go cave diving. If we unlock the vault room, we can start working towards that. Okay. So, yes, the vault room is not unlocked yet. We have to complete just enough community center ob objectives to unlock the vault room so that we can unlock the desert bus. That's what the, the vault gives us, the desert bus. There we go. All right, hopefully this is the vault room unlocked. Three crab pots. That's not bad. Please, 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 vault. That's the bulletin board. That was it. Shoot. Okay, so we need to do one more. Uh, so chef's bundle, that's too hard. The die bundle is kind of late game, I think. Um, this one can be easy or difficult. This one's not great. And this one's like a nightmare because of the apples. So, okay. I don't think the bulletin board is going to help us out here. We still need either a gold ingot or all of the different crops for this season. It's the ninth. So maybe we do that. Let's let's get those planting. That'll be like our insurance policy for getting another bundle done. Heather, how's it going? So if we go into here and we buy up some seeds, we're not going to buy a lot. But I think for this season, like we could just do three melons, three tomatoes, and three peppers. Right? Is the summer... What are the summer crops? What do they entail? Um... Spring, animal, fall, summer. Oh, it's uh, pepper, tomato, melon, and blueberry. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's what we have. Okay, I thought wheat was in there, but it's not. All right. Good. Good, 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 good. So we're just going to plant these just literally for the bundle. Since I can't complete what Mayor Lewis wants me to complete, all I can do is just work towards our other goals. So I will put them here, here, and here. If we go to the caves, we might be able to get the tiniest bit of gold. Maybe even a little bit of hardwood if we're really lucky. And then... Then we'll be golden. Get it? Sorry. I'm just trying to decide if there's anything else I should do before I go to the caves. I don't have any food, really. I don't even have this, but whatever. I have these geodes, and it's nice and early. Let's crack these open, because there's actually a really good chance of getting some gold out of them. Or other things for the uh, community center, perhaps. Will I be doing island visits again at some point? Next year, how's it going? Um, yes. Yes. I actually have an idea for those that I'm really excited about. So, stay tuned. Does the witch lady sell hardwood, or does anyone sell hardwood? I haven't played much Stardew. The witch lady... I think the witch lady comes in later. You would be get able to get hardwood probably way before 
you met the witch lady. So I don't I don't know if she does, but uh One piece of hardwood maybe through summer one. Yeah, hardwood is just this is just not the time of year to get. It. Oh, right. We're get, whoa, we can't crack open geodes cuz he's working on the pickaxe. I hate that. Okay. He's like literally just standing there doing nothing. There's no possible way that he's too busy to help us. Okay. Let's head to the mines. Let's just see how far we can get. Oh, that that the I call that the the pig cart lady. Um because the big pig that tows the cart around. They yeah, they might sell hardwood, but they, oh my gosh, that would be so expensive. And especially it's Tuesday. I don't think I don't think she comes on Tuesday. I think it's Wednesday and Sunday. Or is it Friday and Sunday? Why are you Whoa, I've never seen any character in a rush like that unless you stop them for a while. Something like must have like tripped up her pathing. That's weird. Okay, uh, 55. This would be where we could find gold, potentially. There's so many monsters down here. This is absurd. All I can do is hope that, like, killing these gives me access to another floor. There we go. All right. Look at how many monsters they threw at me today. What is going on? I just wanted enough for a gold ingot. And, okay, down we go. Ghosts now? Are you serious? Hang on. Frozen tear. I need that. This was a bad idea. Apparently, the luck was just not good today. Well, maybe... You know what? Actually, the luck might be really good. I, I think when you see this many monsters, it actually means your luck is really, really good. They want you to have good luck for, you know, or they want you to have a lot of monsters when you have good luck because they think you want to, like, rack up all of those achievements, you know, for killing all the different batches of monsters. It's starting to expensive on the Switch. Uh, I don't know. I thought it was the same as it was on Steam. It plays excellent on the Switch, though. It's probably the, the, the game I've played the second most on the Switch, next to Animal Crossing. I would love to kill this ghost because it can drop a, uh, s like, one of those sun essence things. 24 months for Mama Cat. Thank you so much. Two years of being a member. Now is a great time then to tell you guys that I have added to the membership tiers here on the channel. If you're interested, you can uh, click the link or click the join button and see all the different perks and see all the different membership tiers on the channel. And then Kato for seven months. Long time watcher, first time caller. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Let me check something real quick. Hold on. I'd sent you a message earlier. Oh, well, you didn't answer. It's okay. Ah! I guess, yeah, you really are a first time caller. Never, never answered any messages. <laughs> Seven months from Kato, 24 months from Mama Cat. Thank you so much. I haven't seen. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's. I get it. You're busy. It's cool. Highest price ever I've, or I've seen Stardew on sale for 15 I thought Stardew was more than 15 I know Stardew goes on sale a lot, and probably when the update comes out, it'll go on sale, too. I'm doing my best. <laughs> oh, we got a ladder here, too. Perfect. 
Okay, if we make it to the middle of this place, we probably don't even need to get to the middle, honestly. Our luck seems really high today, so we could probably just mine our way down pretty quickly. Almost two years for Eclipse? Oh my gosh. Super billionaire, thank you so much. 19 months. Thank you everybody for forgetting to cancel your memberships. Really appreciate it. Oh, nice, we made it down to level 60 and we got a crystal dagger. Does that mean we might see some gold on the next floor? That would be excellent. Oh, it like stabs. I don't know if I use this thing a lot. Look at the attack speed on that. Like I can just, as fast as I can click, it'll swing. It's not great for slimes because they just fly backwards. You have to corner them. Ouch. Okay. It's like a little jackhammer. This thing's great. 15 months, seven days. <laughs> Uh, it, uh, let's see. Look for a membership on the next payday. Fred and I, you don't, well, no, dude, I'm not, I'm not fearful. You don't have to, they're not mandatory. <laughs> let's see. Get some stone. There's no gold. I was really hoping to see gold or something. I took a lot of damage doing that. Forgot to cancel membership for a long time before, so you're in luck. <laughs> Thanks. I do have a Joja. Yeah, that's true. How much is that going to heal? <laughs> Not much. Let's just, let's head out. We got to level 60 in the mines, which is great. We're not gonna find any gold, it's getting late. We let Mary Lewis down today. This is not good. I'm very fearful for what kind of punishment awaits. This makes me very nervous. So we'll report back to him. We'll tell him how our day went. Oh, fireflies. And we'll hope for the best. All right, here we go. Mr. Mayor, we've made it back home. So... Day 37, let me let me report into you here. You asked me to go get 10 pieces of hardwood. Um, now, this got me thinking, hey, wouldn't it be cool if I had an axe that could chop hardwood? And so what I did is I took five copper, and I took an axe, and I brought it over to Clint's, and I asked him to upgrade it. So for the next couple days, he's going to be working on that. But don't worry, even though I didn't have enough axes to chop hardwood... I was able to go to the mines, which can sometimes, you know, be a place to get hardwood. Unfortunately, I didn't find any hardwood, but I spent all day. It's 1130 at night right now. I spent all day trying. And uh, you know what? At, at the end of this, like we still we completed one of the community center bundles and we had a lot of fun. We made it to level 60 in the mines. So it's really it's not a bad day. It's not all bad. It's really not all bad. I promise. I don't think I did a very good job trying to convince him, honestly. I think I'm kind of in trouble. The spirits were very happy today. Here we go. You bumbling dolt! When I ask you for hardwood, I expect hardwood. Not a tale about the adventure you went on. Yes, the community center is important, but so is my direction. I get the intention, but the result was a complete mess. For this lackadaisical execution, I hereby charge you with five days of house arrest, oh which should give you enough time to think about what hardwood means. You are free to go back into the world on day 43, hopefully with a bit more sense in your thick skull. And just to twist the knife, the residue from an old cup of Joja Cola in my damn Danley cup ruined my morning green tea. 
it's enough to ruin anyone's day. As if it wasn't bad enough that you failed your task. Okay. Well, that stings. Um, <clears throat> he was very mad about that. He was not happy at all with us. Okay, 43. So today is day 38. And our house arrest is over on day 43. That is absurd. I should check the TV while we're doing this at least. Okay. So that was, wait, 39. And then this is 40. Our copper axe is ready. It looks like a storm's approaching. At least our crops are going to get watered. All right, here's 41. All right, crops are being watered by rain. All right, we're going into 42. Queen of Sauce. Okay. And now 43. Is it raining again? Oh, look. <laughs> One blueberry has sprouted. Uh, tomorrow we're gathering at the beach for the Pelican Town Luau. I don't... Is that... Is that tomorrow or is that old male? My throat is about as dry as a desert bone. I'm thirsty for a pale ale. Pam wants some pale ale. Okay, so... I guess we don't have to water our crops today, at least. Uh, let's, let's ask him what we should do. All right, Mr. Mayor, I'm uh, sorry I let you down the other day, but it's day 43 now, and I heard that our copper axe is finally ready, so I can go pick that up, but uh, other than that, what do you think I should be doing today? All right. Hmm, about time you got that copper axe. Your first and only task for today is to bring me that hardwood I originally requested, capiche? On. It's day 43, and the lack of premium wood around here is making it hard for me to raise those property taxes. Succeed in this, and I might consider reducing your next sentence. Make sure that axe is put to good use. Now scoot! That is not good. <laughs> I don't know if the copper axe can chop hardwood. Let's take the, no, let's take the geodes before I forget. I have all the geodes. All right. The copper axe can't do the stumps, right? Or can it? We have 2,000 gold. So even if... I have enough iron, which I think I do. I don't think I have enough gold to upgrade the axe again. It, I think it's logs, then stumps. I thought it was stumps, then logs. The logs are, like, a lot larger. I guess we'll find out. It's locked. Oh, okay, okay. It's just early, that's all. I wish I had lightning rods. All right, we'll just dig through some trash while we wait. There's got to be enough gold in these uh, geodes. I'm really hoping. Maybe you can bribe him with a gift. Make him forget about the hard one. <laughs> Maybe we can give him something. Okay, that's all the trash cans I know of. By the time we walk back over there, it should be nine. We're lurking we're playing some word puzzles. Is it infinite craft?
All right, get the axe. Yes. Please let this be enough to cut stumps. Uh, all right, process geodes. Let's do these first. You can chop the large stumps. Yes, okay, perfect. junk in here. Steel chops the logs. Got it. Then 10 pieces of hardwood is nothing. Now that we have the copper axe, we're good to go. This is a lot of geodes. gold. Oh, come on, I want gold. Dang it. Okay. Well, maybe the library will give us something cool. What do we got? We have starfruit seeds, melon seeds, and standing geode. All right. So, we can get the hardwood logs, no problem. It's just, I'm nervous about what this is going to mean for future requests from him. Because we've been tripped up once, it cost us five days, and that time meant we can't water our crops. So... We need to complete that bundle. That was like our, our fail-safe bundle was supposed to be the summer crops bundle. And I'm worried we're not going to be able to do it. I'm just going to save the seeds in here. And I think we should sell a lot of this excess stuff. Like, yeah, do that. Put this in here. And then... Let's just sell all of this stuff. Okay, now we can chop up our stumps. And we get mahogany seeds now, that's right. So we can now grow trees that produce hardwood. Naru, how's it going? And Care Bear, how's it going? Perfect. I'm doing great. Now that I have my copper axe, I'm doing really good. So yeah, I can't chop these stumps yet, but I can do these ones, or the, the big logs. If I'm not mistaken, this also uses less energy, this axe. I could be wrong about that. Let's go above and beyond uh, for the hardwood. Only because I don't have much else to do today anyway. And then <laughs> probably... Maybe apologize to us for all the house arrest. Where where does owl statue come from? Is it always there? appears in your farm. Huh. 
I've gotten them in the past. I just don't know the criteria, like what, like what makes them appear. Wait, what? There's a rock behind the owl statue I can't break? Oh. We got it. This would be like the perfect spot for a chicken coop. We should 100% put our chicken coop back here. I should clear this out. Because isn't it the ducks that like access to water? Or am I thinking of a different game? I'm not asking you guys for the uh, uh, house arrest apologies. I'm a I want Mayor Lewis to apologize for putting us in house arrest. This is going to go right in the water, this tree. Yeah, a bunch of people in the water. Yeah, I think this would be a great spot for the coop. Would I need to ask the AI mayor to build a coop in this location? I'm not trying to get that many details from him. I could, but I'm just trying to, like... he He's supposed to tell me what I need to achieve on each day, and I need to achieve it. Anything else is up to me. And generally, when I do stuff, and I go... I get, like, a lot of things done, he gets really, really excited. In his own way. All right, so I've run out of energy. I guess we could tell him how it's gone. All right, Mr. Mayor, you'll be happy to know that I got well over 10 pieces of hardwood now that I have my copper axe, and I spent some time clearing off another section of the farm. So, you know... Just saying, that, that copper axe paid off, and I do kind of feel like that house arrest from earlier was not super justified. Had you just given me a chance, like today, for example, you know, you would have reaped the rewards. But now, we lost a whole bunch of time, our crops weren't being watered. I'm just letting you know. That was, like, really short-sighted of you. Do you think antagonizing him is a bad idea? I don't know. I just want him to know that he's an idiot. You insolent twerp! Not justified, huh? I gave you an order and you didn't follow it. That's justification enough for me. But I will admit, you did good today getting that hard wood. Now, for your blatant disrespect, I am slapping you with three days of house arrest. <laughs> Take this time to understand who is in charge here. You're free on day 47. Oh, and to add insult to injury, my Danley cup has remnants of some strange juice from yesterday, ruining my evening black tea. Today's been just a bucket of joy, hasn't it? <laughs> I didn't think he would <laughs> give house arrest for for insulting him. Um, okay, 18 hardwood, though. Let me try to bargain with him a little bit. Now, hang on, hang on. I'm sorry. I was just feeling a little bit down. You don't need to lash out like this. Listen, I have 18 pieces of hardwood. That's almost double what you asked. So maybe we can come, sort of to, come to some sort of agreement where I don't have three days worth of house arrest and the crops can actually get watered and stuff. Let's see what he says. I don't know if that's going to work. Ah, playing the negotiation game now, huh? Clever. Well, all right. You do have a point. These crops are rather integral in filling the town's coffers. Yeah. And my personal coffers. I'll knock a day off your sentence. But even then, it's not just about getting the job done, but doing it right from the get-go. So you're still under house arrest for two days. You're free on day 46. Now, I've got a headache thanks to you and my blasted Danley Cup. <laughs> 
It's making my cool drink taste faintly of hot peppers. Ghastly. <laughs> he's, he's such a jerk. Okay, two days. We got two days of house arrest. Okay. So he says, I can't get in the bed because of the cat. Uh, he said day 46. Suck up. <laughs> I'm trying to save the farm. Let me in the bed. All right. We got level four foraging. It's day 44. <laughs> Dang it. This is day 45. Queen of Sauce rerun. Baked fish. And then here's day 46. Our crops, like our blueberries have still not come in. We've missed way too many days of watering. I'm so afraid we're not going to get our summer crops bundle done. All right, I really, I really got to stop messing with him. In a moment, I'll ask him what we're supposed to do today. Okay. Oh, I missed one. All right. I hope you're feeling settled in your new home. I'm writing to let you know the Pierre store is now selling fertilizers. Yeah, thanks. That'd be great if uh, I hadn't already planted everything. Chicken statue. Okay. Mr. Mayor, it's now day 46. What should we do? Okay. Oh my gosh. Please don't be... Give me ridiculous tasks. Day 46 already, eh? Well, I've been thinking quite a bit about what could really line my the town's pockets, and I've decided. Your task for the day is to catch me a largemouth bass. It's a rather rare fish which will undoubtedly raise the value of your property, leading to higher taxes for me, the town to enjoy. Now off you go. Bring me back the big one, and remember no slacking. A largemouth bass, okay. Hold on. Let me look at this. Okay, so it can be caught any season from 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. in the mountain lake. Okay, that's not bad. We might just want to go there straight away. I was going to go to the museum, but getting the well, other artifacts too, but getting the chicken statue right now doesn't feel like a priority. Um, if we need to catch this large mouth bass, let's just do it. So avoid the ocean. I, I think it's the lake we need to be at specifically. I did complete the summer forage, right? Yeah, I must have. Winter, exotic, construction, and fall. Oh, wait a minute. We could complete the construction bundle. That could unlock the vault. We might not need the summer crops after all. We still need a money-making method, of course. We might have to get a money-making method that is not crop-reliant somehow. Oh, yeah, that's right. We talked about doing, like, chickens or something. Shoot. We might have to do that, like, double time. We might need to figure this out. So... Here's what I'm thinking. Like, if we get chickens, they will drop eggs whether or not I'm on house arrest. It could be a long play. Like, it's expensive to get the coop up and running. But, I mean, chickens, they need to be fed. That's the problem. Shoot. It won't work. We need, we need them fed every day. It really, like, two chickens 
means we can have them fed for two days because there's four feeding troughs. You know what I mean? But as soon as we get four chickens, we only have one day of feeding them because each one will be using a... Oh, we already caught the largemouth bass. Nice. I'll just keep fishing. Um, you guys know what I mean? Like, if you're new to Stardew Valley, basically the chicken coop has... You can upgrade it. Eventually there's an auto feeder. But at the start, you have to feed them manually every single day. So if we want the chickens to be fed so they keep laying eggs, we have to have a coop that's, you know, upgraded enough so that it can handle all the chickens. They can eat grass. You're right. They can eat grass. We can leave the gate opened and they can go and eat grass. Absolutely right. Okay. All right. Thank you. I forgot. It's summer. We can leave the gate open. Okay, good. Operation Chicken is a go. Operation Clucking Awesome. So we'll make this a bit of a money-making day. We'll, uh, we'll sell off any excess carp. <laughs> Crap. See, oh, we got a carp at the same exact time I said that. That's so stupid. Ooh. I don't think we can reach there. Operation Chicken House Arrest. <laughs> the coop isn't, like, super expensive, I don't think, right? And each chicken is about 800 gold, I think. Four K for the coop. All right, not impossible. If our blueberries come in tomorrow, that should that should easily get us to where we need to go. Considering all the fish we're catching today. What am I able to get the sprinkler? Oh, right. I just gotta level up a bit more. I think it's, is it your farming level that has to go up? Yeah. yeah some sprinklers would be really good. Sprinklers would allow us to keep making money off of crops. I mean, someone has to harvest them. Rushing to sprinklers is not easy. If I look at my crafting menu... We haven't even unlocked the first one yet, have we? No. Also, we're like basically full up. All right, let's go. Give Linus this. Cart Lady sometimes has them, but they're expensive. Yeah. Farming level two is sprinklers? I've not gotten to farming level two yet. Eat it.
No, I got I got the largemouth bass. I got several of them. In fact, we can tell them. We got two silver quality largemouth bass and a gold quality largemouth bass. Okay, still day 46, and I'm reporting back on your request for largemouth bass. Check this out. I have two silver quality largemouth bass and one gold quality largemouth bass. On top of that, we got a whole bunch of other fish and some other forageables. I'm about to just go ahead and sell it all. I just thought you should know how great I am. I'm, I have to show off a little bit. Finally, some competence. Not bad, not bad at all. Those largemouth bass will surely draw in tourists and increase the overall value of the property. Keep up the good work. Now, I need to figure out how to clean this blasted Danley cup properly. It's making my water taste like blueberries. Horrendous. Be ready for your task tomorrow and pray you don't disappoint me again. <laughs> you gotta suck up to the boss sometimes. That's just what has to be done. I'm sorry. You saw what happened last time I stood up for myself. I can't let that happen again. An iridium quality dark enough fast. Yeah, I would be super impressed with that. Yeah, I think what we do, see how much money we have tomorrow. And we just start building the coop if we can. We put in the order right away. Uh, okay. Let's see what we get. Wait. Before we go, hold on, don't sleep yet. Do we have any extra nonsense to sell that we're just not gonna use? If we look, I mean, there's some stuff that I'm not sure I'll, I'll need for crafting. There's some garbage. I could sell like the bug meat. And Getting rid of this stuff feels awful. What about in here, anything in here? Other than the blueberries, because, you know. Oh, I could sell these. Let's do that. And these. Okay. What was that? Go, 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 go. Money, money, money. Nice. That was almost enough for the coop right there. Okay, new day. Day 47. Awesome. Let's see what he wants us to do. All right, Mayor Lewis. It's day 47 on the farm. What should we do? Start watering. Ah, oh, still no blueberries. Oh my gosh. Uh, day 47, another day for potential profits. Today I need you to collect 30 units of stone. I have been hearing folks around town grumbling about roads needing repair. Once repaired, that definitely should increase property values. That will allow me to, uh, I mean the town to, to collect more in taxes. Make sure you get on it right away. I'm counting on you. Don't let me down this time. Okay, 30 stone. <laughs> Whew, okay, good. That's that's easy. That could have been a lot worse. Speaking of stone and everything else, let's go ahead. I'm going to look up the chicken coop real quick, see what I need. Chicken coop. And for the chicken coop, I need 4,000 gold, 300 wood, 100 stone.
No problem. And he said get 30 units of stone today. Let's let's get the chicken coop first. Wait, how much how much stone do I need? 100? Okay, here. I I don't want to have to count this myself. So I'm going to do this. How do you how do you take single items here? Did you say a hundred? Did it say a hundred stone? It's one hundred stone. Okay. It, okay, that's how you do one at a time. All right. Control what? Is it shift? Is it control or shift left click? How does it how does that work? Alt? How do you get a specific amount? Never mind. Never mind. I'll just have to learn count. I figured it out and then I forgot how to do it immediately. First time in the stream. K, how's it going? Where's it, Kai? I'm sorry. Left or right click. It, it doesn't matter. <laughs> It doesn't matter. I'm just going to have to learn how to count. Or I'll go back home and I'll turn the stone in and... I am. 9 a.m. What am I supposed to do up here for an hour? I'm tempted to, like, give this stuff the construction bundle, but I'm going to wait... Here, let's do this. Kill some time by killing some weeds. There we go. What is this pen for? Doing good. Just got back from watching a movie with my mom. It's a scary one. That's all I'll say about it, though. Was it, was it Madam Web and you're, you're scared about how easy it was to lose that much money to a movie? Okay, uh, construct farm buildings, coop, build. We already know where we're putting it. Oh, this is like perfect. Look at that. Yeah, I wish I could center it, but it's not a big deal. I could do that, or I could do this. I think I'm going to do this. Anything else that I can... Okay. Okay. Calendar would be nice to have. I love the items that Robin got. I think it was the one four or one five update, but oh my gosh, so nice. I kind of want to get like the stone walkway. Let's do that. Let's treat ourselves, right? That was a little more than I was planning on spending on floors, but. Oh no, it's bad. I was looking forward to it. <laughs> I, <laughs> you, uh, I, that's, it's funny, like how, depending on where you, who you watch on YouTube, like you're hyper aware of certain things. So based on the channels that I watch, I've known Madam Web was bad from like day one, just because of all the YouTubers I watch who just are trashing it right now. It's, Endless amounts of content about how bad this movie is, if you want that. But, yes, it apparently is very bad. Now, I saw the trailer, and I already wasn't getting, like, great vibes from it. The trailer felt really weird, like, just really forced, and the dialogue was kind of hilarious to me. Apparently, that movie trailer was very accurate. Like, my feelings about the movie trailer were reflected in the entire film. So, never heard of it. It's supposed to be part of Sony's, like, big, like, you know, they're trying to have their own little universe over there, cinematic superhero universe, and it's not going well.
They they clucked up. Let's just put it that way. All right, 30 stone is like no problem. Done. All right, cool. So AI Mayor Lewis is happy. We got our 30 stone. We can keep chopping trees, I guess. This is ridiculous. This place is getting... We, we should make a path down to the chicken coop, I think. How does it compare to Morbius? I haven't seen either movie, so I can't speak f from any experience of seeing it, but from the, the people I'm watching, it was like... It, they, they're ranking them close together, but I think the consensus is Morbius is better by default. But that's they're not giving any credit to Morbius in, in these reviews, if that makes sense. Morbius, the criteria for Morbius was basically just show up. <laughs> Both terribly and Morbius still wins. <laughs> now, see, if you liked Morbius, then maybe, maybe you'll be fine. I don't know how many of these I should make. Now, whenever it comes to placing down paths in this game, I let paths kind of dictate where everything goes. And the first thing I decide is how I'm going to do the paths, starting with my house. Because your house has like a an uneven amount of tiles, right? So you can do this, but this doesn't mean you can't do two wide paths from here. Like you could just make the entrance three wide and then make two wide paths everywhere else. Or you could go with nice, bulky, three-wide paths, which I like. So I am considering that. And then if we do that, like you want to kind of set aside plots for your, your farm and stuff. What would we put like right by this pond here, for example? Oh, and then we got the greenhouse too. Hmm, okay. Let's... Let's chop this tree down and kind of like map this out a little bit. Okay, so Morbius was good. Her interviews are always hilarious. Let's see. I wanted something funny to watch, so here I am. I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about horror movies, so that's why I called it scary. <laughs> no, you're you're good. You're good. Um I didn't understand what was happening half the movie, like Inception. Oh, Inception's good. Um yeah, Inception was one of those that I think it takes a couple of watches, honestly. Uh, I never saw Morbius. I would say if you didn't understand what was happening in a movie, it it's I'm not shaming you for still enjoying that movie. For me, that's that's enough to make me go, well, I don't I didn't really love the movie then. There's you can like or, sorry, not you. I can like sequences of a movie. But still also think, well, they didn't do a good job with the writing. Like, for example, I recently like I'm catching up on all the old um, Defenders saga thing, like things from the Netflix. Remember the Netflix days where they had like Daredevil and Jessica Jones and all that? I hadn't finished watching all that stuff, so I'm finally like going in and watching all those. And they're not terrible, but like they're not as good as I remember them being. And it's like the, the writing quality is just not there, but there's, there's some really good sequences in it. There's some decent scenes. It, it just, it, there's, there's parts of it I like, but for the most part, I'm like kind of disappointed because I was hoping it would be better. When it first came out, I was like, wow, like Daredevil, Jessica Jones, like these are great shows. But now I don't feel that way. All right, so right now I'm letting the greenhouse kind of dictate where this path is going. And then I need to decide just how much space. The greenhouse can move, though. It doesn't have to. It's probably going to stay. I'm not going to move it. Uh, okay. Is it on the same tile as the house? It doesn't look like it. No. So that means we could have the path go straight in front of the house. I'd have to move my chest. That would kind of work. So yeah, it would, it would go this way. I 
just love vampires. That's the only reason I watch Morbius. That's fair. Okay, yeah. Oh, paths always make your farm feel so much more finished and purposeful. <laughs> it's been 163 years since Inception came out. I honestly wonder if some of these movies would be received better from audiences if they would just stop making so many. Now, I think that cuts a couple different ways. If you're making less things and prioritizing quality, then obviously people are going to like something more if the quality is better. But I'm, I am mostly referring to the fatigue of these, you know, cinematic universe blockbuster movies. Because you, you can't just watch one of them. It's part of a big series, you know? So you get sucked into it and you have to watch all of these movies. And then if one of them ends up being bad, it starts to make you not want to see any others. Because you're like, okay, the last couple I saw weren't that good. Like, I was really looking forward to, the, uh, I think it's the Marvels. And I was really disappointed by it. The trailer was awesome. I'm like, this is going to be great. This is going to be like, you know, the first really good Marvel movie in a while. And it wasn't good. And I was really disappointed. I was just really disappointed by it. There's a few parts of it that I really liked. But the overall story and writing. Yeah. Unremarkable. So I really do think that's part of it. It's just the sheer amount of this stuff that gets released. I don't really think that's really a hot take. Okay, we got the start of our path done. How do you feel about the current Disney films? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's it's definitely disappointing. To say the least. Okay, so we did get our 30 stone. And we can let AI Mayor Lewis know that we actually started making our roads throughout the farm. He mentioned roads. What farm layout is this? I've never done this one before. It's the it's the one with the monsters. So if you stay out late enough, they'll monsters will start coming out. It's pretty cool. I like it. Okay, here. Let's uh, talk to AI Mayor Lewis. Mr. Mayor, it is now day 48. And yesterday you asked me to get 30 stone. I did just that. And in fact, I had so much stone after that that I actually started building roads around the farm. And we have like hundreds of stone left over, which is awesome. So the farm is starting to look a lot better. Very safe for tourists, I would say. And now, since it's the next day, we need to know, what should we do? Okay. Blueberries and peppers. At least you're not a complete disappointment. Good job on the stone collection. Now, for today, day 48, I'd like you to bring me a can of Joja Cola. Yes, what? you heard it right. There's been some hubbub about this being unhealthy and a potential ban might increase its value. Not to mention, the controversy could bring some attention to the town and increase tourism. Oh, and get one for yourself, too. It's a... Uh, Reward for your recent productive streak. Get moving. He wants one can of Joja Cola. <laughs> okay. I'm going to bring it to uh, in-game Mayor Lewis and go above and beyond. Do I have any? I need to save just one of these. We're going to sell the rest for sure. And then... 500 gold, I'll take it. Okay. Stop watching Marvel when they killed off spoiler alert, to be honest. Thought I was never a big fan of I was never a big fan of that particular character. It's not the same without him. I I think it's it wasn't just that one actor leaving, too. It's 
a lot of them are, are leaving. And I don't think they're doing a great job at making me excited about the next generation of characters coming into the roles. I think there's a lot of potential there, and I just don't think... I think it's being rushed. It's just weird. The strategy of making, like, most of them, like, uh, temporary, like, TV shows and stuff, I, I was I was excited about it as a viewer, but it, I, you know, in retrospect, it only kind of added to my, like, Marvel meh syndrome that I have. I'm going to donate these things, so I just get them out of my inventory. And... He wanted a Joja Cola. Let's just go buy it. I'm, I'm not going to risk trying to fish it out of the water and not, you know. I didn't find one. Oh, opens at nine. Minecraft slash New York City layout? What does that mean? Uh, Guardians 3 was my favorite MCU after Endgame so far. Guardians 3 was good. Yep. I enjoyed that as well. I'm like wandering around. He gave me so little to do today that I'm actually looking for direction. Uh, the coop is being built, so I can't buy any chickens, but that's kind of like my main thing right now for making money. We, we want to invest in chickens. Two Joja Colas. One for me, one for in-game Mayor Lewis. Where is he? Is he at home? Here we go. This makes me feel sick. What a horrendous gift. Okay. Um, Mayor Lewis, I gave the Joji Cola to this universe's Mayor Lewis. And he says, quote, this makes me sick. What a horrendous gift, end quote. Um, I just want you to know that's it's going to damage my relationship with in-game Mayor Lewis. Maybe that was your plan. I understand if you're jealous of in-game Mayor Lewis. If you don't mean to talk to him anymore, I won't. This was just a kind of a cruel prank to play on me. Brutal. You useless twaddle. It's just a soda. What kind of a person doesn't appreciate a free beverage? <laughs> and besides, the potential value increase from its controversy could have led to remarkable profit. But alas, it seems even common sense isn't so common anymore. For this absolute buffoonery, you're stuck with a two day house arrest. What? Relearn what it means to follow simple instructions, <laughs> will you? You're free on day 51. And atop this disaster, I have to deal with the rancid smell of Joja Cola lingering in my infuriating Danley cup. How fitting. What did I do? Wait, why do I get house arrest? It was in-game Mayor Lewis who didn't like the soda. I like the soda. What are you punishing me for? I don't like the soda. I don't drink soda. Soda's gross. Don't question my judgment, you inept nincompoop. Nothing makes sense these days. My good green tea now has a hint of hot pepper, thanks to this cursed Danley cup, and you can't follow even a simple order. Consider your house arrest as time to ponder upon your actions. You're still free on day 51. Now scoot. Wait, why 51? Wait a minute, hold on. Didn't he say two days? It's 47 right now, right? Hold on, what was my, when I said, when I talked to him, I said, it's day 48. Okay, hold on. So I didn't pump, I didn't bump up the counter. And then he said, 
a two-day house arrest. You're free on day 51. That's like a three-day, isn't it? Or he's assuming that I'm going to spend the rest of today walking around and stuff. So 49, 50, and I'm free on 51. Oh, shoot. Okay. Well, that's good. I probably shouldn't argue with him anymore. Yeah, he told me to do that. Like, I followed his instructions exactly. And I got in trouble. We are never going to complete a single goal in this challenge. It's never going to happen. That's why I'm, like, screwing around with paths and stuff now. It doesn't even matter anymore. Like, I could go fishing to make some money, but I'm just, like, so... <laughs> it's called being an employee. I'm so, like, annoyed that I'm just, like, whatever. I'm just gonna make paths, I guess. Where's the door to this thing? Let me see what it looks like. Oh, okay. The door's kind of on the left side. Maybe what we should do is put the path directly in front of it, so then we don't have to measure out the door, right? So I think it's like... We can do this. Cat is worse than Animal Crossing villagers. Like, look at that. Right in the middle of where I'm trying to path. Our path to the chicken coop is done, so no more grass is going to grow in between the house and the chicken coop, which is great. Speed things up in the morning. Look how proud this cat is. <laughs> if there isn't some sort of cat in your way, is this even a cozy game? Fair point. That's true. What should I do? I guess go fishing, right? I don't know what else to do to make money around here. Let's go to the ocean. <sighs> I think we still have enough time to get a summer crop, but I'm not sure. I don't exactly remember. Let's just... It's Saturday. Yeah, let's go check real quick. What, is, what does it take to grow a melon? Isn't it like half the season? Have you gone to the mines? Oh, yeah. Um, 12 days. 11 days. And we have the peppers and the blueberries already. So I don't know how many days of watering we've given them. But it's the 20th now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then we got two days of house arrest. So I don't know if this is going to be possible. I don't think we're going to get all the summer crops. Ooh. We can pick up this stuff. Okay, at least we could sell this. Yeah, we got more house arrest. I didn't even do anything wrong this time. Yeah, truffle oil is great, but um, <laughs> getting up to pigs is not a quick thing. I'm, my plan is chickens. As many as I can get. The sprinkler would be really, really good right now, yeah. We don't have 
even the first sprinkler unlocked yet. I would just try and make as many of those sprinklers as I could if I did. Oh, here we go. Whoa, what the heck is this? Okay, hang on. I want this chest. Ah. Tuna. You did everything asked and more. Extremely disappointed in you. <laughs> Is anyone else disappointed about how much money fishing actually makes you in this game? It just doesn't feel like a lot. Like, last time we sold a bunch of stuff, I think we made more money off of the forageables than we did the fish. Are you guys excited about eight-player farms in the next update? I couldn't believe that. It's hard enough to find three people to, you know, <laughs> get together with and play a game these days. How am I supposed to have seven other people to play with? It's too much pressure. Who's the tougher boss to work for, AI Nook or AI Mayor Lewis? I think AI Mayor Lewis because I have more of a challenge aspect on this particular series we're doing. Whereas the AI Tom Nook one is just kind of for fun. I didn't build that one to be, uh, you know, like something that was going to be impossible to achieve. This one was supposed to be like a real challenge. Yeah, I definitely can't think of some people who want to have a farm together. Seven? You can think of seven people plus you. Like how instantly Kato takes it personally. Like, I'm not. <sighs> Never mind. Never mind. AI Lewis is mad at me. Kato's mad at me. I'm sure some of you are mad at me. It's fine. I'm just going to go home. When you can have eight people playing Stardew Valley at the same time, you kind of need the ability to do dedicated servers at that point. <laughs> because what happens is one person owns that farm, and they have to be online no matter what. Oh, and stay home for two days, right. Okay, fish... Coral, keep the seaweed and trash in the bait. Okay, well, I guess we're on house arrest until day 51. Okay, we got level two farming. We just unlocked the sprinkler. That's a huge slap in the face. I forgot we sold all of the blueberries, um, so that's good. We got our chicken money. Yes, uh, we the co-op farm stream is still happening. It's scheduling is, like, impossible, but we are actively talking about it, I promise. Okay, so that's another day down. So this is day 50. Right? And then this is day 51. Okay. Storm approaching. Great. Uh, raising animals, take that. 
It's definitely happening, happening after the update. Yeah, by the time we do the first thing, I mean, yeah. So stay tuned. Uh, okay, we got to ask Lewis what we're doing. All right, Mayor Lewis, it's day 51. What should we do? Day 51, huh? Your task today is to delve into the mines and gather up five iron ores. Why, you ask? Okay. Well, let's just say a touch of industry might bring our little town into the spotlight, and a spotlight could mean more tourists and more tourists. Well, you get the picture. Don't disappoint me. Off you go. All right. That's easy. I'm glad for that, because what I would like to do is get some chickens. I think we can go do the... It's Tuesday, so Marnie's going to be, like, shopping, right? So I think we can go do the mining first. Tell AI Lewis about the sprinklers. That's that's our secret ace in the hole. <laughs> he doesn't need to know that. Oh, I never go after those trains. Yeah, I'm always so <laughs> disappointed in what the train drops. It's not worth it. I've never thought the train was worth it. I, th I hope the update addresses that, because it's... Oh, a train's passing through town. You rush up there and it drops, like, a piece of coal. Okay, thanks. <laughs> the five irons can bring so much tourism. Listen, don't question him. I'm... I'm completely fine with collecting five iron. I'm not gonna challenge his logic. Pretty much ever again. In fact, he's made me terrified to share any bad news with him at all. Let this be a lesson to all of you if you ever get into managing people, okay? If you treat them like crap and they lose their trust in you, they're not going to be forthcoming. They're going to be scared to tell you everything or anything. And no one's going to work efficiently. It's too bad soda is banned now. Uh... <laughs> I bet it's worth a lot. How is there no ladder yet? I'm almost out of energy. If I can't get five measly iron, he's going to lose his mind. Okay. Okay, I see some iron up there. Okay, any other iron? Yes. We got three. Six. Okay. But as a manager, you live in bliss because nobody will tell you... Nobody will tell you their problems. Well, except... Well, okay, you're right. No. You're... Your employees would not tell you their problems if they were afraid of you or... <laughs> yeah, true. Mary Lewis reminds me of the mayor of Sardine Land in a cloudy with a chance of meatballs. Oh, it's been too long since I've seen that. Okay, well, we're off the hook. We got our five... Uh... <laughs> Or five iron. We need to figure out if Marnie's going to be able to sell us chickens today. I think Tuesdays are always a bad day to buy anything from Marnie. You know what? Marnie's actually a really super frustrating character to, sh to buy from. Yeah, so this holds four, and I don't have anything in there right now. You need a silo. Uh, okay. So yeah, we will be opening the the gate and just letting the chickens eat the grass. Tuesday's leg day. Yeah, do they work out today, or is that Wednesday?
Yeah, she's not here. Mm. Dang it. Does she open the store after the workout? I don't even think they've started yet. I don't think we're getting a chicken today. <laughs> I don't think that's happening. Chair is so uncomfortable. A friend Shane to get the blue chickens? Oh, we're not going to be able to do that in time for this challenge. Also, I don't like Shane. Alright. Uh, should we sleep? We have, like, no energy. Excuse me. Oh, we can make sprinklers. Let's do that. Just, like, a couple, right? Copper and iron. Oh, gosh. They're a little more expensive than I thought. Uh, okay. We can make one. Oh, we need coal. Uh, okay. So we can put this... If we got rid of the crop in the middle, we could water four things. Or we could water two things if I put it here. I feel like we sacrificed the crop in the middle. And then, yeah, do that. There we go. There. If he gives us house arrest, we still have a chance. Okay, 25 stone and 20 copper ore gets us another smelter. I kind of want one. So... Grab our stone. And I guess we should put these, like, somewhere else, considering we're trying to get things off the path. There we go. All right, let's sleep. Day 52. Queen of Sauce is making maki rolls, and we learned how to make them. Weather report. Okay, and it's raining today. Good. All right, and we can throw some copper in this time. Let's get the furnace off of here and move it right here. That. Perfect. Oh, yeah, we have to do. Here. Mr. Mayor, it is day 52 and it's raining. Um, what should we do today? Did we tell him what we did yesterday? Ah, a perfect day for a bit of housekeeping, I'd say. It's day 52, and I want you to decorate your farm today. Oh. A well-presented farm always catches the eye of tourists and townsfolk alike. Plus, an aesthetically pleasing property is obviously worth more in taxes. Now get moving and make that farm a sight to behold. No slacking. Okay. 
Well, I'm gonna buy some chickens, but yeah. Sweet. I did stop playing Dreamlight Valley, but I heard people like the update. So that's good. I'm glad I'm glad the updates are coming and people are enjoying them. I already laid path. Like, what should I do to decorate? <laughs> I don't know. Um, what do we have to craft? Oof. Put a campfire somewhere? Almost done with the star path. Nice. Been playing the update. Like it. That's good. What should we do to decorate? I really don't have a whole lot. I don't know. I guess we'll figure something out. I kept saying there's an error and it kicked you out of the game. <laughs> I, I started playing a game nothing like any of the games I'd play on the channel. It's called Last Epoch. It's, uh, it's like Diablo. And it's also having some errors, but it's working way better than it did at launch. But I was playing that um, yesterday and I kept getting kicked out of the game because there was an update. And then I updated the game and then sometimes I'd teleport to a new area. My character wouldn't be wearing any clothing. And then monsters would come and eat me alive really quick because I wasn't wearing any of my gear. And uh, it was fun. It was great. <laughs> on the star path watching the stream nice we have to decorate and i don't know what to do oh we have like this standing geode and we have this uh stone owl so i think that counts and then if we grab some just general kind of crafting materials maybe i mean okay uh yeah we can make We could do fences. Let's put a campfire somewhere. I want to put a sign somewhere, but I just don't know what to put on the sign. I don't have a need for a sign. And fences are cool. I just don't know what to do with those either. We kind of need a spot for actual crops, right? I kind of want to make a path that goes down. We need like a, a kind of large-ish farming area. Should that be up here maybe? Maybe make a path that goes up. This is too wide though, isn't it? Instead of three? Yeah, this is two tiles. Um, so we could do a path that does two tiles up. And then on either side, a little farm or something. Playing Paleo 2, kind of buggy. The one quest where you complete it, it's supposed to open an air current for you to glide across to an island and it never opened for me. Oh. Uh, Paleo, yeah, Paleo had an update. Every every update with Paleo usually is followed by a, a brief period where you can't play the game because of all the bugs that the update introduced. So whenever Paleo updates, I always wait for the next Discord message that comes almost immediately after. And sure enough, it updated, I think, today. And I saw a message that said it updated, and then immediately after, it was like, eh, so people are experiencing problems logging in. We're looking into it. I'm like, okay. <laughs> uh, but I heard that the latest update, that what I'm excited about, is they opened up a path to Bahari Bay, which is like an area, like, it's like the an area in Palea, all right? There's only a couple areas to go mine and gather stuff, and Bahari Bay is one of them, and it's really far away however uh the, the in this new update they made it so you have an entrance to bahari bay from your housing plot which is really really cool because previously you'd have to go out of your housing plot and then go around this big 
like area to get to this other zone. And that zone has all the good stuff in it. Like that's where people do a lot of their gathering for wood and all their mining materials and stuff. So yeah, I'm very happy about the quality of life update there. They got that bug fixed today. That's good. Meme, how's it going? Yeah, yeah, play Paleo and Dreamlight Valley now before the Stardew update. That's <laughs> that's true. That's going to take over. I'm excited to see the internet get excited about Stardew Valley again, if I'm being honest. Stardew's great. I'm going to put a, this here, and I'm going to put a campfire in front of it. <laughs> I don't exactly know what to do. He told me to decorate, and I'm like, okay... Oh, Marnie, chickens, right. We've got to see if we can buy chickens. I'm saving all my money for chickens right now. Here we go. Purchase animals. All right, chicken. Oh, the coop. There's only one coop. Don't make me go find the coop. Put that there. All right, what are we naming the chickens? Uh... All right, here, hold on. I'll ask AI Mayor Lewis. Okay, Mr. Mayor, we've decorated some of the farm. I placed some paths, and I even made a cool monument with, like, a campfire next to it. It's looking really good, but I am seizing on an opportunity now. I am investing in livestock on the farm. We've built our first coop, and I have enough money to fill it with four chickens. Now, because you've been a good boss i thought you'd want to name these four chickens what do you say do you have some names for these chickens we're going to reward him for being a good boss well never thought you'd ask me of all people fine fine name them golden egg because i expect nothing less tax love for obvious reasons secret stash a uh, personal touch if you may and marnie because um, because it's a nice name, that's all. Now off with you. Let's see how this little investment of yours pays off. Okay, so he wants me to name one of them Golden Egg. I'm going to make the E capitalized. I didn't... The list made no sense to me whatsoever. i got to read this carefully. Um, okay, here we go. Go back down. Okay, and then... Tax love. <laughs> okay. All right. Here's tax love. Um, these are great. All right. And then he said secret stash. All right. And then Marnie, because it's a nice name and no other reason. Those are great chicken names. All right, we have four chickens. This is excellent. Now, if Mary Lewis gives me house arrest... I'll be able. We gotta buy some fodder. Uh, I'll be able to hopefully still make a little bit of money because the chickens will be laying eggs still. We need to make some mayonnaise makers. So purchase animal. No um, supplies. So we'll do thirty of those. No other reason. Tell him. Tell that to the purple pants we found in the room. We can't. If we bring those up, he's going to give me house arrest. I cannot bring those up. Make the path come up to here. That feels better. All right. All right. First, let's pet everybody. And then we'll put down this. We'll... We can't fill this thing because we don't have a silo. All right. 
And then we're going to open this thing. If it's raining, they're not going to go out and eat. Use blackmail. He's just going to scream and put me on house arrest. Blackmail does not work on this guy. AI Mary Lewis does not mess around. I'm going to put the statue here. It's not going to let me do that. Put it there. It's probably not a great place because I'm going to eventually put a path here, but whatever. Okay. So we, we decorated the farm. I think I could put my chests somewhere else. Maybe we should do that. We should make like a little area for my stuff. You know? What's this? Wait, a silo is pretty cheap, right? It's 100 coins and 100 stone, 10 clay, 5 copper. Hold on. Clay. 10 clay. I don't have 10 clay. All right, never mind. Never mind the silo for now. Mayonnaise makers, what do those cost? All right, stone, wood, and copper. Oh, stone, wood. I'm going to make four of these. We should make a chest, too. AI Fletch and Dinkum. <laughs> Who would voice Fletch? All right, one, two, three, four. This is the fastest I've ever had four mayonnaise makers. This is a lot for me. I've never invested this much in chicken so early on. And we're going to put those in here. Uh, probably against the wall. One, two, three, four. It might be hard to find the eggs behind them sometimes, but until we get like a larger space, that's not a problem. We could put them outside too, but I don't like doing that. Uh, okay. Four mayonnaise makers. You know what? No, actually, I am going to do this differently. Let's make a spot where our chests and things are, and I'll put furnaces and mayonnaise makers in it. So let's clear out all this grass. Maybe we'll decorate more than we originally thought. And I think what we should do Maybe we get a different path, too. How much wood do we have? 156. So, like, some rustic planks. And we make, like, a... Uh, a thing. I know originally I was talking about putting crops over here, but. I don't know how much space I need. Um, but this could be fine. Does that mean we should put maybe... 
Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's see. If we do fencing, just to make it look cool, I think what we do is... Oops. That's not even. Right? Ow! I forgot there's, like, monsters. <laughs> okay, let's make the fencing inside. Gate. I'm, like, out of lumber. There's more bats. I'm just trying to play some fences. Oh my gosh, this is going really bad. It's really hard to fight monsters on your farm when you're picking up your furniture. Okay. Is it like three fences? I don't think I even need the gate. The way I'm doing this. There's two fences. All right. So, yes, now we have this space here. This is great. I like this. Uh, we should leave this spot open in case we ever get a teleporter. Like, that'll ever happen. Uh, but, yeah, we can we can definitely put our mayonnaise makers in here. So I think we would just go, like... Like that. And... Furnaces can go over here. No rhyme or reason to this right now. I'm just panicking. Let's sleep. All right, that's day 53. And let's ask Mayor Lewis what to do. Okay, Mr. Mayor, it is day 53. And just a quick update. That means it's day 25 of the summer season. Anyway, what should we do today? I'm trying to let him know, like, subtly that, like, we don't have a lot of time to grow any more crops. Day 53 and still going, eh? Good. Today's task is to harvest as many summer crops as you can. We're nearing the end of the season. What? And the last thing we need is wasted crops. You know, more crops mean more revenue for the town. And that's always welcome. Now get to it. Okay, I think honesty is the best policy here. We should let him know that the crops aren't ready to be harvested. We've harvested three peppers. And that's literally all we can harvest because <laughs> everything else is still in growing phases. I really do hope he doesn't blame me for this because this is like out of my control completely. Ah, okay, one small complication with that. Um, when I walked out this morning, there were three peppers, and I did harvest those, but out of all the crops we've planted, which is a good bit, uh, those were the only things ready to harvest today. Maybe tomorrow some stuff might be ready, but uh, is there anything else you would like us to do? Because Mother Nature's kind of fighting against us on this one. Oh, please, please don't blame me for this. Please do not blame me for this. All right, don't blame Mother Nature for our troubles. You've harvested what was there, and I'll accept that. Okay. Now I suggest you take the rest of the day to socialize around town. A well-connected farmer draws visitation. Visiting brings in more tourism, which obviously adds to my, oh, that is the town's intake. Now off with you, let's make Pelican Town the spot to be. Okay. 
That's fine. Pet the chickens. I'm assuming they're going to eat the grass outside today. Yeah, everything in here is good. All right. Perfect. He's like, let's not blame Mother Nature. I'm like, please, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> Lily, how's it going? All right, so let's put away the stuff we're not going to be using for a bit. I should keep the hot peppers. There's a couple people who like them. I think Mary Lewis and Shane both like hot peppers. Oh, I really hope we have enough time in the season to grow the melons. Oh, I'm going to be so mad if we don't. I am depending on those. Bring Georgia hot pepper is a quest, in fact. Awesome. It took you long enough. You just told me about this yesterday. All right. Oh, don't, no. <laughs> I almost went to talk to people with the hot pepper, which is not, if you don't want to give them away to random strangers, not a good idea. Yeah, we could try to craft more sprinklers. I just want to, I'm trying to save my stuff for like iron sprinklers. You know what I mean? Those ones are really nice. He just wants us to socialize. It would honestly be better to give gifts. I just don't have a lot of things to give right now. But, like, talking to them isn't going to do anything. Is there a good cheap gift? Other, I, I guess, forageables? They're a bit hit and miss. Hmm. Uh, the iron sprinklers are three by three. Did Linus just scurry out of this bush? Do you see that? That was weird. Here's some grapes. You think fish is a gift? Well, I mean, we can tell him we walked all around town and talked to everybody we saw. And that'll sound like we did a lot. When you gotta go, he has to pee somewhere. Oh, you, so you think he scurried out from behind the bushes because he was peeing and then I was I was walking up? Linus is a weird dude. I offered to build my house. He chose to be homeless. <sighs> he's uh, He's got a whole backstory about that. Okay. I have some more forageables, so we can make another lap, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I'm actually happy to just go to bed early so we can get to the next day, have some more crops grown potentially, some eggs. Fishing just, I don't know. I know you're supposed to like fill your day in Stardew Valley with all kinds of stuff, but eh. Here, maybe, maybe he'll like a hot pepper. Okay, it's his favorite, good. We can see if anyone in here likes uh, grapes. Okay, Gus likes grapes. 
I found them outside on the ground. Happy Tuesday or Thursday. <laughs> Happy Thursday. Uh, let's see. Oh, wait a minute. 250 for ice cream. Has anyone ever bought ice cream and then given it to Alex? This is cool, thanks. <laughs> I feel like there should be some hidden dialogue there where he's like annoyed. He's been eating ice cream all day because he works at an ice cream stand. Yeah, I think you're supposed to give it to like the kids and stuff, but it's kind of funny. Do you like this? Ugh, that's a, such a stupid gift. Okay, I'm sorry. Here you go. Is this a gift? Oh. Uh, here you go. For me? Wow, thanks. See, some people appreciate the crap I find. Oh, I just ate this in front of him. Um, here. I, yeah, there we go. Alright, we gave a lot of gifts today. I bought it and gave it to the kids much better than beer? Wait, did you try giving beer to the kids? What does that do? <laughs> I've never tried that. All right, let's just sleep. Let's go to the next day. They don't like it. <laughs> it's an acquired taste. All right. So. Uh, beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Okay. Oh, it's raining now. We got blueberries. The melons are coming in. This is really, really good. All right. We're going to make a bunch of money. Okay, Mr. Mayor, it's day 54. You'll be happy to know that our blueberry crop has grown in, so we can harvest those this morning. And it's raining, so I don't even have to water the crops. What should we do today? Perfect. Ah, day 54. Nothing warms an old man's heart like ripe blueberries. Harvest those in, and once you're done, spend the rest of your day fishing. Rare fish always pique interest, don't they? Plus, the smell of fresh fish and that joyous splash never fails to attract visitors and raise their what? spending, of course. Jolly good luck to you, my loyal subordinate. <laughs> well, he seems to be pretty happy with me lately. So that's good. He, he could be way more upset with me, but uh, I think I've been making him uh, proud lately, and it's working in my favor. Still no eggs from the chickens. I don't like beer either. But I don't really drink, so I guess that's not... Uh, a bold statement. I guess we'll fish in the ocean? Where's the best place to fish when it's raining in the summer? Even even if it was a good fish, the chances of me catching it are pretty low because my fishing level's low. And my fishing rod's not that good. <laughs> The mountain lake? Oh, really? Okay. Let's see what a fishing rod costs. Oh, he's out here. Okay, well, never mind. We'll go to the lake. After I forage. Grab all 
this. What kind of livestock can you get in Stardew? Uh, so you can get chickens, ducks, rabbits, cows, sheep, pig. Are there ostriches now? I don't think I've ever gotten those. I think the previous update added like ostriches. I'm listening to the red snapper for the uh, community center of fish in the ocean. The dinosaurs, yep. Uh, I'm just gonna go to the lake anyway. I, I don't. I'm already over here. It's too far to walk. I need a horse. There are horses you can ride too. say where is everybody they're adding raccoons in the update yeah they are I'm kind of curious I don't feel like the raccoons are gonna be pets that you keep on your farm I think they're gonna be annoying I think you could probably see them around and maybe scurry into bushes and then maybe they dig through your trash at night or dig through people's trash. I don't know. Because I don't think you are you have trash on your farm. Maybe they'll dig through the trash in town and bring it to your farm. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, train them to go through the town's cans for you. Yeah, maybe you have to befriend them, like by giving them little gifts, and then they'll bring you the stuff they find. I could see them doing that. They'll send you a house, and <laughs> yeah. uh, they'll force you to pay down loans. Lions will be fighting for every meal in the next update. What if what if you have to rescue a raccoon from Linus trying to cook one? And then they become your friend. And then they still trash for you. Where's my why is this not working? I was clicking where's my cursor? What happened? It just decided not to work. <laughs> I think this one's dead. Cool, I caught a dead carp. What happened to all the fish in this lake? Where do you recommend buying from for a good beginning PC tower? Oh, um, the best places to buy PC um, items, in my opinion, would be some of them on Amazon, but mostly Newegg and oh, maybe Newegg. I don't know. Newegg's probably my favorite. Wait, 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 wait. Are you talking about a fully built PC or are you building your own? Because if you're if talking about a fully built PC, I don't know. I I always build mine. And if you're looking for 
tips on how to build them, um, there is a subreddit that is really good. I think it's like a PC builders or something like that. Um, and there's a website I use called PC Part Picker. And what that does is you put the components in that you want. It tells you if those components will go together or not. And it shows you all the different retailers that have the thing at that time and how much it is at the different retailers. So that's my process. I don't use Reddit. I understand. Um, but it is full of like real people who, you know, aren't it's not just a place for trolls. A lot of Reddit kinda has a bad rap for that, but there are good subreddits where people are actually helpful and nice. And that is one of them where people are very patient and helpful. Um even if you just lurk in there though, like when you might find someone asking the same questions that you have about PCs. Um, but you're building your own. So yeah, PC part picker and I yeah, I tend to go to that Reddit PC building uh, subreddit because it's just, you know, it, you could basically tell them your budget and someone will take the time for free to just part out a PC for you. And you tell them, you tell them your budget and your goal. And you say like windows and whatever. And you give them as much info as possible. If you look at the rules on there, they'll tell you like what the best practices are. And multiple people often will come in and go, okay, so get these things. If you want this, it's trust me. Red is super helpful for things like that. It is. I promise you. Um, it, it could be the only thing you ever use Reddit for. Um, but it's worth it. Like, I'm not a good person to ask. You know, I, I don't... I'm not very savvy when it comes to this stuff. That's why I go over there. And even still, I'll, like, overspend on stuff. Because sometimes I just get, like, impatient or frustrated. It, I'm not the person to ask. There might be a Discord that's equivalent to that subreddit, but at least, I don't know. At least I know of the Reddit. Bought my first pre-built game PC. Want to learn how to build my own. I will definitely look that up. Nice. Yeah, I would say the scariest part about building a PC is obviously breaking something. Um, but the, the for me, the worst part is the thermal paste. Having to put the thermal paste on the CPU is is the most stressful part. And it's really not that bad. <laughs> There's actually like plenty of YouTube tutorials that'll show you how. Um, and you won't screw anything up. But that's the part that I hate the most. Everything else is is pretty straightforward. Yeah, thermal paste isn't fun. And then there's a lot of really tiny little wires that you gotta plug into your motherboard. Depending on what kind of case you get to, you could end up having like a lot of different um if you have like a lot of ports and buttons on your case. You have to plug all those into your motherboard, and it's really tiny little plugs, and it's easy to like accidentally put those in the wrong spot. But there's a manual, and you just follow the directions, and you know, oh, this label matches the one on the motherboard. I'll plug it in there. It's it's not too bad. Nothing feels more rewarding too than like having your PC built for the first time and hitting the power button and watching it come on. Something about that makes you feel like a god. It's. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like the best feeling. Okay. I feel like we've caught a lot of fish. And I also feel like I'm not using as much energy. Maybe my fishing level being higher also reduces energy use. Can do it then, yeah. Um, let you know. Let's know how it goes. Hopefully, uh, hopefully, it's a good advice. I could try to find the specific subreddit. It'll probably come right up. Like, let me try and catch this fish real quick. Real quick. Okay, so I would literally just Google Reddit. Let's see. Uh, how about this? PC building Reddit. And there's build a PC, PC build. 
build me a PC. Or build... There's so many. Gosh, which one did I use? I would go to the one that's like the largest. Build me a PC has 115,000 members. So that's what I would do. Um, if you Google Reddit build me a PC. And that's, that's going to get you people who are like, oh yeah, you know, do this. Whenever I see a subreddit with that many members, I know it's been around for a while and it's well established. Anyway. Now you're making me want to build a computer. Oh, some lightning took out my path. And my inventory's full. Okay, so sell all the fish. That's not that. Sell all of those. This, all of these. Yep. Mm hmm. That should be a pretty good haul. All right, and let's go in the house and tell Mayor Lewis about our day. All right, hello, Mayor Lewis. We are at the end of day 54. I did a couple laps around town. I gave out some gifts. Most people liked their gifts. And then I spent the rest of the day fishing and caught a whole bunch of fish and sold them and should make a lot of money. I'm mixing up my days. This was the day he told me to... Well, well, for once, you didn't completely cock it up. What? Good job on the fishing and keeping the town folks happy. Remember, a happy town is a rich town, which, ahem, works out rather well for me. Now keep up the good work and get ready for another productive day tomorrow. This tea in my damn Danley cup tastes a bit like yesterday's blueberry. Uh, ghastly. I, I need to be more strict with him about how he talks. <laughs> okay. Very colorful language there from AI Mary Lewis. Sorry about him. Um, let's see. Clear and sunny day. Dance of the moonlight jellies. Oh gosh, this is the last of the month already. I have some good news for you. Videos back. I made a breakthrough in my research. Oh, this is the cave thing, right? Uh, I probably would do mushrooms. I think I'll make more money that way. Family channel, you say? I'm sorry. The worst he said is damn, to be fair. it's That's not that bad. But yes, he shouldn't be saying that either. We got our first batch of eggs, too. But, uh, okay, cool. Wait, this was actually where I was going to end anyway, because I only wanted to give myself two hours tonight. I have some other stuff I need to do. Um, so, we'll call it there. Um, thanks everybody for hanging out. It was fun. We'll be back soon. Um, probably tomorrow with more streams. Probably not this though. This will probably be a next week thing. Um, but hey, we made it to day 54. Not too much house arrest, so that's good. I'm feeling a bit better about our odds of getting some of these goals done in the challenge because we're actually starting to build up a lot of money. Uh, and this is really just a money making challenge. Uh, so I'm, I'm excited. Uh, so yeah, thanks everybody. It's been fun. I'll see you around. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button on my yard. Yes, thank you, Brings Bane. Uh, thank you, Lizzie. Thank you, everybody. Um, you're all awesome. And join our Discord and do memberships are different now. So go check those out. And that's it. Yeah, that's it. All right, see you, everybody. <laughs>